Hi, and welcome to Cloud Asta. My name is Nick Marchese. Today we're going to be overviewing Google Vids, Google's new offering for AI-powered video creation for work. Uh, today we're going to be going over what this looks like and what it is. Um, and the, the goal here is to give you a uh, glimpse of the jumpstart power that Google Vids offers with creating videos, whether it's for sales, marketing, customer support, whatever it is. Um, and then being able to also integrate your content into the video and then altering it after the fact to personalize it and make it your own. We'll get a little bit into pricing later and where Google Vids fits in the uh, Gemini subscription series. Um, but what, first thing we're going to do is jump right into our demo. Okay, so we um, so once you have Google Vids enabled for your environment, um, it has a home landing page just like a normal docs would. All right, so you see here we have docs.google um, and then we have vids. Um, and we can and a vids file uh, lives in drive just like any other file. Um, so I'm gonna show you uh, in a minute how we would go ahead and hit create new video and then create one. Um, but I wanted to show you briefly first um, that I've made two other videos um, that are based off of um, different docs uh, and um, uh, slides that I already have. And we're gonna go ahead and try and recreate those and then go in and try and make something new. So if I hit this little plus here, we get a nice little pop-up. Um, and we have a couple of different options to get started. So we have a help me create. So we could describe our video in a few sentences and we could type at symbol to include files that we currently have in our drive. And they give you some um, options here to kind of go through and give you an idea of what's talking. <clears throat> I'm gonna actually use the start of this prompt here. Um, pitch video, create a pitch video for to offer uh, seasonal types for a pizza business. Um, I'm actually gonna change this. I have a secret oatmeal cookie recipe. Um, so I'm gonna just tweak this a little bit. Um, pitch offer to, uh, pitch video to offer um, a seasonal oatmeal cookies uh, featuring, let's do oatmeal cookies, we'll get rid of this. Um, and this should be based off of the secret recipe that I have created that has been passed down for generations. And then I'm gonna hit that add symbol and I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the best oatmeal cookie recipe document that I have. I'm gonna hit next. We'll look at these other options in a few minutes, but we're gonna start with this. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna try and create an outline for what this video would look like. Okay, so we have here, it's gonna say introduction, welcome and intro, uh, generations of love. There's a couple of different things here. And if there's anything that you don't like, you could just trash them. Um, you can go ahead and add, you could uh, adjust, right? So maybe um, <clears throat> I wanna go ahead and change this uh, name to the super secret recipe, okay? Um, and so on and so forth. Or you can just have it re ge regenerate. Okay, next. And then we could pick a design um, style to go with. So we have this one right here. We have one right here. And then we have this one right here. So I'm gonna start with maybe this one down here. And this is the different sample uh, little designs that it will go ahead and utilize. So it just says, you wanna go ahead and just like kind of take a quick preview of this and then hit create draft video. And depending on what content you put into this, how difficult or easy the prompt is, this will uh, only take a few seconds or it could take a little bit longer. Um, if you're loading in more um, pre-existing content, right, that could take a little bit longer. Um, and here we go. Um, so we have a video that's uh, um, just under two minutes um, and give you a little bit of glimpse of what this looks like. So um, I'm gonna get rid of this little pop-up. Um, before I do anything else, I'm just gonna play the first couple seconds of this. So you kind of see what we're talking about and then I'll kind of give you a little bit of a tour. Okay. So you can see it's going ahead and taking that uh, document that I have, it's 
creating different sections for the video automatically. It's automatically finding graphics or videos that it thinks work well for the content um, that we're talking about here. It's added transitions for us. Um, it's adding some music. Um, we can then do lots of other voiceovers and things like that. So it's, I didn't pick out any of these graphics and videos. So some of them may be um, helpful and uh, applicable to my uh, video template, but some of them might not be. So they might need to be altered. These are clearly chocolate chip cookies, um, right? So that might not be the best thing. Okay, let me give you a bit, bit of a tour. So on the right side here, we see we have a little script. Um, and what it does automatically, building out a little script for each um, section, each little video segment, right? So the idea here is what you could do is you could create a little voiceover or a video of yourself going off of this generated script. Um, again, I didn't make this script. This was something that it was built off of based off of my prompt and based off of the document that I already had, which did not have a script in there. So the idea here is that from the top, we have uh, the different script and we can hit generate voiceover and it will go into a recording mode where I can go ahead and generate a voiceover for that and that will be layered into my video. So if I hit that little, this, it, um, it's gonna go ahead and say, what kind of voiceover do you want? So it's automatically gonna make the voiceover for us. I don't need to record it. I can if I want to um, via the other little record icon, but this is gonna automatically do it for us. So this says, do you wanna use this one that's professional, moderate, and calm, or I can hit edit, and I can pick a couple of these different ones, um, which I think are really fun. I'm gonna pick this informational, bright one. I'm gonna hit insert into timeline for this very first one. And this is just doing it for this first uh, little segment here. So we can go back and listen to what that sounds like. Welcome to Heavenly Open Cookies, a taste of generations. To get a sense of what that looks like. So, and you could go ahead and be like, maybe this isn't the script that I want. Maybe I want to go ahead and put the word super in there, or I want to change it completely. And then you can go ahead and insert another voiceover. Um, if you wanted to go and uh, record it yourself, you could hit that record myself button. You can go ahead and do a camera view of yourself and have a little video on there. Again, on any of these segments, you could do your own voiceover where I'm talking about the cookies. You can record your screen uh, or your screen and your camera and put that in there as well. And the script will go ahead and move through. You wanna go ahead and see what those are before you do that. All right, so I could see here, I can, there's a little put in there. They put a video of a close up of freshly baked oatmeal cookies with crispy exterior and chewy interior. Um, so here are the different options that it's automatically pulling in for me. So if I wanted to go ahead and this is clearly not what I want, right? But there are different choices that I can go ahead and pull in, or I could change my prompt or say, I don't want video, I want an image. Um, and I can go ahead and t tweak different things, right? Um, so on any of these little segments, you can go ahead and change this. You could change the transition. Right now it's on uh, these different, all these different types of transitions, fade, pushing it out. There's so many different options to play. And all of these, if I click onto one of these um, and then I click this little show timing, what you can do here, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, is you can see that this particular segment has a lot of like layers of things that are happening, right? There's a little triangle here to make this little graphic. There's that video. Text. And then there's more rectangles here, which are the rectangles on the side, to make the theme create that border. Um, so you can go ahead and tweak these. Maybe you don't want that to be that way. Maybe you want it to be a different color. You could go ahead and change the color. You could do lots of other fun stuff. Maybe you want to go ahead and change the size. You want to have it come up. Now it's going to go ahead and slide up. There's lots of different things you can do to play with this, to personalize it. Um, and uh, you could also just like add in um, more images. You could just hit help me create and create a new image. You can um, go ahead and explore different templates. We'll talk about those in a second. You could add in more media. There's so many different things you can do here. Um, and this is the, really, it's it's giving you all the power in the world to make something that's excellent. And then when you're ready, you can just hit play and you'll see that um, video that's all created for you. Okay, so um, let's go back to vids. Um, document that we've been working off of. I also have this Gemini AI uh, slide deck that I'd used previously um, on all the different Gemini AI uh, SKUs. Um, and before I took that slide deck and I dropped it in 
to here and I said, make me a pitch deck about Gemini AI. Um, and what it did is it quickly just made a video off of this, right? So I'm gonna fast forward a little bit here. We have an introduction that talks about Gemini. And again, I would be, you know, doing a voice over here to give it some uh, value. Um, and you can see here, it's talking about video purpose, differences between the different SKUs. This is all based off of that slide deck and it automatically made all of these little video segments for me, right? So overview of the Gemini uh, AI SKUs, enterprise business and security, and then enterprise features. And it's, I, I like this is a great one, right? Large organizations, complex needs. These are all from the slide deck. And then it grabbed the images and graphics and videos automatically for me based off of the little uh, text that's there, which is very cool. Um, okay, great. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a new vids uh, for us. I'm gonna hit file, new video. Um, and to show you these other pieces, so we can go into templates and we could just like pull in a different template, right? So maybe we just wanna go ahead and have a um, new team member introduction. It shows, okay, here are all the different uh, scenes that you can go ahead and bring in. You can see those here. And you could choose to insert one at a time or you can insert all of these, right? So I'm gonna hit insert all of these. And then this is here and I can just go ahead and tweak these, right? I'm gonna leave, maybe these names are different. Um, I can go ahead and put the photo of that person. I can, right, I can go ahead and just replace this. Um, either I could search or I can go ahead and upload a video, a, a photo here. Um, same thing here, I can go ahead and put some videos in of the or images of these people. I could put their information in. And I have this like nice little intro video that's like all sort of set up and I just need to plug my own stuff in there. Um, so it's a great way to kind of jumpstart, um, just like with a lot of the Gemini AI stuff, to jumpstart your process and then you have to go ahead and just personalize it to kind of make it your own, right? You could add some more text in here, you could do a voiceover um, and you can make that work. I'm gonna go back quickly to the new video um, and the other things, right? So we did help me write the templates. You could just like straight up, just start recording a video and then build in the templates later. Or if you have anything, a, video, a current video or a GIF or an image, you can go ahead and browse your computer, upload that here and get you started. Um, keep in mind that because this is living in the Docs, Docs Drive environment, you could just share this with somebody else and collaborate as well. So this isn't something you have to do on your own. It's actually gonna be able to get, have the same flexibility that you do with all of your other pieces. Okay, um, so that was a lot of a demo for Google Vids. You can see there's a lot of different things for you to get into, but you gotta go ahead and play in order to make it your own. Um, Google Vids is included in the Gemini Business and Enterprise uh, subscriptions. Um, which we have the uh, pricing here. Um, and there's also some uh, different ways you can get involved. So you could please reach out to us and we'd be happy to help you um, get started with Gemini, uh, Gemini's uh, Google Vids. Thanks so much.